What's going on everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and today I had the awesome opportunity of attending the Loki press conference. Footage of the Loki press conference is not allowed to be posted but I can talk about everything they talked about so that's what this video is, breaking down everything that was discussed, all of the questions that were asked, and all of the answers that were given during the Loki press conference by Tom Hiddleston, Owen Wilson, Kevin Feige, and the rest of the cast and crew. And of course tomorrow night I'll be doing my watch parties again for Loki. Hope to see everybody out there again and hope to have a great time like we have for the past two MCU Disney Plus shows. So let's dive into and break down this press conference. Now in the show you'll see that Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston have amazing chemistry together. Their scenes together are brilliant and hilarious, but there are also some very emotional aspects to Loki and Owen Wilson's Mobius helps him get there. So one of the questions to both Tom and Owen Wilson was if they did anything to develop their chemistry and bond. And Owen Wilson said, I think it was really this sort of, before we started filming, Tom very generously and patiently taking me through the MCU mythology, letting me ask questions. I think that was really helpful and really important to our dynamic filming the scenes where we're going over that stuff. That was really important to me, going to Loki school. And then Tom Hiddleston said, it was such an interesting time trying to compress the experience of my time in the MCU. Six movies and Mobius is an expert in Loki. He knows more about Loki than Loki does. Owen asked such insightful, intelligent questions that made me rethink various aspects of the character. Our conversations found their way into the scenes themselves and their interactions because they're quite intense conversations. At one point, Owen was like, this kind of feels a bit like a play. I think maybe there was a germ of an idea that settled in Owen's mind that a theatrical experience might be coming around the corner. In which Owen Wilson replied, it was always sort of a chess match between Mobius and Loki. Loki is just clearly playing catch up. I thought that the scenes they were fun to do, they were long scenes, that's where it started to feel like a play. I think they have some tension and humor. And this is all fantastic to hear because I think you'll all find as you watch the Loki series, specifically the very first episode in a couple of days, you'll find that the relationship between these two characters really make the show combined with all of the other relationships as well. Now, Owen Wilson absolutely crushes his character. He really did an excellent job and he was asked how much it took to convince him to join the superhero world of the MCU. In which he said, it didn't take too much convincing. It was really the conversation Kate, who was the director, and I had that was a comprehensive phone call where Kate walked me through the idea for the show and the dynamic between Mobius and Loki. I think I signed on right then. And I'm really glad he did and you will all see why very soon. Now, as most people already know, Loki is going to talk about time travel and the multiverse and alternate timelines being created. It's a really, really big part of the show. And today in an interview with Empire Magazine, Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios said that Loki will have more of an impact on the MCU than any of the other shows so far. And he also said that it's tremendously important. And that's coming from the big man, the president of Marvel Studios himself. And keep in mind, Kevin Feige over sees everything. The grand story of the MCU, the direction that it heads towards, is Kevin Feige's direction. Of course he has amazing people by him, but he is in charge. And basically he's saying that Loki is the most important Disney Plus show so far. Which leads me to believe that this is really the start of the multiverse. And I think it's really going to start to fall apart by the end of Loki. I think it will definitely fall apart. But in the press conference today, he was asked if it was tough to balance time periods and timelines. In which he said, Early on, it was sort of the low-hanging fruit. There was ideas for a short film going back almost a decade for Loki running a Studio 54 in the 70s. I think we had some concept art of him on a horse. Thankfully, thanks to Michael and Kate, the story became more interesting than that, which of course became about the TVA and multiple different timelines. Now, one of the big things that everybody knows because this is obviously a different Loki than the one who died in Avengers Infinity War, spoiler alert, one of the things is discovering what kind of arc this character is going to have because he hasn't yet been through the experiences that the other Loki did to make him, let's say, good. So right now he's still very much the god of mischief and he hasn't, let's say, matured yet. So one of the questions asked to Tom was, what does he personally want the audience to take away from his character's arc in the show. And this is what he said. What I love about the series is Loki is stripped of everything that's familiar to him. 
Thor is not close by. Asgard seems some distance away, the Avengers, for the time being, aren't in sight. He's stripped of his status and his power. If you take all of those things Loki has used to identify himself over the last six movies, what remains of Loki? Who is he within or outside of those things? I think those questions for all of us became really fascinating to ask. Is he capable of growth? Is he capable of change? Do his experiences with the TVA give him insight to who he might be? I hope the audience gets a kick out of where we might go. And just judging off of the first two episodes, I would say yes, we are definitely going to get a kick out of where it's going to go. He very much is the old Loki in the very beginning, but his character becomes very grounded very early on. Because like he said, he is stripped of everything. He is captured by the TVA. And of course they have a very specific purpose for him, which is also going to reveal a lot about who Loki truly is on the inside. Now, Owen Wilson did talk about the secrecy that comes with being a part of the MCU. When he was welcomed onto the press conference by the moderator, he said, it's exciting to be a part of the MCU. Seeing the trailer start to come out and how excited people get, the secrecy surrounding this I didn't quite understand. Until I saw that the fan base is so revved up and passionate and Marvel's just so committed to trying to surprise people, so then you get into it. And he then went on to even admit that he is still walking on eggshells, trying not to spoil anything about the show. And then he said, but there are some very shocking things that are going to happen in the series. And if you think about this, really, Loki is the future of the MCU. Everything that is happening is affecting what they've called the sacred timeline and we've seen it called that in some trailers, so it's not a spoiler. But the sacred timeline is essentially the main MCU timeline, and if you're asking if the series addresses why Loki is getting in trouble for time travel and the Avengers didn't, yes, it does address it. And it addresses it in a way that I think some people will really enjoy, but I think some people won't. I personally am like, okay, sure, but I think some people might have a hard time dealing with the answer. Like, why didn't Steve get in trouble for going back in time and living with Peggy Carter, but Loki gets in trouble? Don't worry, they answer that. And a final interesting note that actually came from Kevin Feige was the fact that when Loki died in Avengers Infinity War, he actually did not know that they were going to do a Loki series. They had not planned that yet. He said that they didn't know this show would be coming when they started working on Infinity War, but they did know when they developed the story point where Loki disappears in Endgame. So when Loki died in Infinity War, they didn't know that they were actually going to make a Loki series. They hadn't decided that yet, but in Avengers Endgame, they did did know what they were going to do, so that's why Loki escaped. So he could go on to set up the Loki series, which is going to be an insanely important and awesome series. It was awesome to be a part of the press conference. I didn't get to ask a question this time because there are just a ton of different outlets trying to ask questions, but I did get a one-on-one -on -one interview with the head writer, Michael Waldron, and hopefully that video will be up tomorrow. I have to wait till Disney sends it to me. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything relating to Loki and the MCU. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.